Happy Sunday to all. I'm hoping you all are enjoying your holidays. We um hoping you've been able to use it to get some rest, spend some time with family, friends, and loved ones. And I'm ready to dive into chapter ten. Chapter ten is chapter ten is entitled Fundam Fundamental Analysis. Um, within this chapter, we're going to be uh, analyzing a company's financial position, identifying strengths and weaknesses of a stock, getting to know the executives in charge, watching how management and the company present the company, and reacting to changes in outlook for industry and sector. <laughs> Excuse me. Allergies kicking my ass today. All right, so um, I do feel like in order to understand the fundamental analysis, um, which is also known as the FA, I feel it's very important that you're in tune with the financial reports. Um, don't get um, discouraged, but understand that the more you look at something, the more you understand it. That's as simple as I can put it, because I do feel as though financial reports give a good overview of the health financially of a company. Um, not just this, um, you also need to know, um, within the company, um, about the management team, the marketing strategy, um, their financial health, and uh, any other economic factors that could play a role in the price per share direction of the company. Tailoring it back on these financial reports, I do feel as though, um, if you're going to be investing in a company with your money, you need to know, um, what the company has going on. What? Simply put, where they bring in for their from their sales, how much debt they have. Um, some people get afraid of financials uh, because of the numbers. Um, it tends to intimidate most, but um, if this is important to you, I do feel you'll make time to understand it. That way, you can really understand what the company has that's going on. Moving along, um, some terms that you need to make sure you get familiar with: legal expenses, investment income, revenue, and sales. Um, understanding a company's financial report should be very important to you. Um, that way you can be able to come up with your own expectations of what you feel the company should bring in. Um, what you feel the company should bring in as far as um, the price per share um, and where you see yourself as a shareholder long term, mid term or short term. All right. So understanding uh, the revenues. Revenue is going to show the total amount of money that the company has brought in by selling their goods or services. Um, you also need to know what gross profit is. Gross profit is going to show you how much profit is left after the cost of sales are subtracted from the total revenue. So prime example, if the company spends $200 on building a certain type of product and it sells it for $300, it has a gross profit of $100. Operating expenses. This can include utility bills, rent, research, development, advertisement, etc. Most important to me is the net profit. Um, one of the most important things to me is net profit. Net profit is going to tell you how much is left af after your costs and expenses. So this is the bulk of how much cash they really have after they've been able to pay for expenses and products and payroll, things of that nature. Within the cash flow statements, you need to be sure to make time to get familiar with terms like borrowings, dividends, stock offerings, adjustments and exchanges and foreign exchanges rates, loan payments, depreciation, adjustments for goodwill, changes in account payable, and taxes. You need to be aware with um, how the company is doing compared to previous uh, quarters so you can navigate as well. Are they on the downside of things or are they on the uptrend? You also need to be knowing if the company's making money. Can they pay their bills to keep the lights on? Or if they even have too much debt that you're willing to wait out almost to weather the storm so they can raise funds for um, mergers or different uh, progression. All right. So um, another thing that's very important, um, press releases. In the penny stock world, you have to get in tune with reading them. You have to get used to the verbiage and understanding how market reaction might play an effect depending on the press release. If you want to grow in as an investor, you have to make time to learn these things. If you want to make this your full-time job, you have to make time to learn these things. These are all important fundamentals that an investor that wants to be a veteran in the game has to make time to understand and grasp. 
These are important, these press releases. The frequency, the style, and the effect that it can have on the market. How often they put out press releases is important. Um, are these press releases highly positive or just informative? Um, also the outlook on the sector. Um, the industry is always going to give clues as to how the business should perform based on expectations for future demand, supply, and prices. Uh, spend time understanding the macroeconomic and microeconomic influences. On the micro side, um, economic influences, um, this can involve property tax, attra attracting or losing customers, increasing wages, gas prices, commercial rental pay um, payments, or rental availability. These are all things that go into helping a company function and keep the lights on. Macroeconomic influences can include the taxes, the money supply, national savings, unemployment rate, inflation and deflation, and GDP. These are all different terms and um, things that you need to make time to understand so you can under fully grasp why a company may be moving down or up long term. Be sure to familiar uh, excuse me. <laughs> be sure to familiarize yourself with these terms. It definitely will help you be able to anticipate um, if the company is going to be going through some things that's within their control or out of their power. All right, just making sure I tapped on a few other things. This does wrap up chapter 10. I do hope you do make time to read financial reports, understand them, ask questions. It's the only way you're going to grow. I mean, you can't just wait on people to feed you the game outside of putting in the work. Your best experience is going to be hands-on. I can't stress this enough. And if you're working hard, don't quit. Um, it can only, a few months it can really turn your life around from a portfolio standpoint. So keep your mind sharp and don't let these numbers drive you nuts. Also, next week's going to be chapter 11 as we head into the new year. Uh, we're going to be tapping on financial ratios, comparing apples to apples. Uh, some of those topics are going to be comparing penny stocks directly with companies of any size, mastering the five types of financial analysis ratios, Gauging the liquidity of a penny stock, understanding a company's operational strengths and weaknesses, and assessing the current value of a company's shares. Well, this wraps it up. This is PSG. I hope you uh, learned a thing or two. And as always, apply what you see fit. And I am not a financial advisor. Love all. Take care.